is up fellow witches welcome to a brand new witcher season 2 update video this isn't going to be a mega long video but i still wanted to go over the teasers that we got in the past few days first it started off with this Geralt photo that you're now seeing on screen but then we got siri and then we got freaking yennefer but also a season 2 synopsis and i want to go over a couple of little details and i don't know just some general discussion but i would also love your participation on theories speculation and whatever down in the comments below but it's just absolutely fantastic to be getting some more tangible stuff for season two make sure you stay subscribed or subscribe to the channel for more updates on the major things like teaser trailers or maybe even future photos and stuff we can dive into just like this let's read the synopsis first to give us a little bit of a better idea even though like to be fair this is what we would expect but it's still just seeing it written now a few of these specific words make me very very excited convinced that Yennefer's life was lost at the Battle of Sodom Geralt of Rivia brings Princess Cirilla to the safest place he knows, his childhood home of Kaer Morhen. While the continent's kings, elves, humans, and demons strive for supremacy outside its walls, he must protect the girl from something far more dangerous, the mysterious power she possesses inside. Now, I just love seeing the words of Kaer Morhen. I mean, I know we've had that in the show before, but the fact that this season we're actually going to see it, and many other witches we'll get into in just a second as well with some recent news to do with that which I haven't spoken about uh, which only happened like just over a week ago now there's so many things to look forward to in season two and and I just feel like this really is the beginning of that hype train with these images that they're teasing now obviously that synopsis teases some things that we've very much so wanted to, to actually get into the meat of it I mean sure like the last season was setting up many different things different timelines they converged at certain points but like now season two we're gonna get into the stuff with Geralt and Ciri like like now they're actually together. I mean, obviously, that's how the season one finale left off. But now, like, Geralt is going to take her to his childhood home, the safest place that he knows, Kaer Morhen, as the synopsis teased. But also, they're going to dive a lot more into the Elder Blood, like the situation that Ciri is dealing with. Now, we did see some of that uh, spill out into last season with her abilities, which were really awesome. But I think this synopsis is teasing and cluing us into a lot more kind of trouble shall we say that she's got to run into with with her abilities manifesting more and more and more as she she kind of grows older but also probably as she's been out on the road more provocative uh, i say her powers shine more than ever they're they're untamed and i can't wait to see how the witcher school of kermoran or even vesemir and how the other witches just react to seeing a little siri potentially erupt at certain points honestly th th there's there's a lot of potential with the elder blood that is running through her veins just getting more and more and more powerful as time goes on but let, now let's finally actually dive into those images sorry it took this long to actually get into that but obviously we get to see Geralt now personally I love this. I think any kind of fan of Netflix is The Witcher. This is just kind of a bit of automatic fanboy fangirlism just going on. You're like, oh my god, freaking Henry Cavill looking amazing as Geralt as always. Uh, I love the wig. I love the new armor. Now, first off, I just want to say that it is it is a lot better than the season one armor. I really liked that. Don't get me wrong, but this one is just it. It just feels. I just love the layered look of the pauldrons, for one. To be fair, I uh, I did play the uh, Witcher video game a lot, and I always felt like a similar armor design suited it there as well. And I just kind of like to see what I used to go around with in the game be put onto Geralt this season. I'm not saying this they're ripping it out of the game at all. I'm just saying it's a bit more of the witchery kind of armor I envision Geralt to wear as he's going out and about, uh, especially at the time of training Ciri a bit more into his prime, I guess you would say but there is one thing that I don't really like so much about this and I wish I wish they just kept it kind of like a flat leather based look to it and that's the abs put onto armor I, I don't really like abs put onto any kind of armor I just feel like it adds almost to me this kind of cheesy-esque element it's totally unnecessary for somebody as ripped as Henry Cavill I do get it like think about how much armor throughout history has like abs put onto it you could argue as well it's extra protecting because they're, they're, these abs extrude with the leather that is uh, kind of molded into that fashion however I still feel like I wish it was a bit more of like the season one armor how it just went down other than that that's a 
nitpick to be honest. I still love the finish of this design. Another detail I just love about this is the silver sprinkled dots. It's just incredible. And of course, I feel like the wig looks better here than it ever has done <laughs> yeah, before. But now we need to talk about Princess Cirilla or little Siri herself. I love this image. I, I know... I know this sounds like I'm fanboying. Maybe I am. I, I, absolutely shameless fanboying here. But I, I think one thing I'm very happy with, and I don't know if any of you have noticed it as of watching this video, is there anything different about her? Let me just put it that way. Anything different uh, other than just looking badass? Yes, <laughs> she's grown eyebrows. So first of all, let me just say that Freya Allen looks badass here. But honestly, you, believe it or not, you wouldn't believe necessarily how big eyebrows play into a design. Because let me let me just preface this. In season one, maybe you're sitting on screen, maybe I'm bringing it up. But Siri, I mean, Freya Allen's 19 in real life as well. And I know she's meant to be obviously portrayed to be like the young Princess Cirilla in this show. But the fact that she had those blonde, uh, like ashen head, if you will, uh, tinted eyebrows in season one and in some shots you could argue you wouldn't really notice them because they just blended into her face and and the hair just looked like she didn't have any eyebrows at all but now that the fact that they've decided not to do that and she's got her dark striking eyebrows it just adds a lot more to that aesthetic look and and her design she looks a lot more fierce now she looks still young but she still lo she looks more as if like the the events of season one in a way kind of transformed her and they did like she was all out by herself completely struck from the luxury that she was used to and and she was on the road for a long time before she found Gerald. and i just feel like i know this is, sounds so weird just going <laughs> over an eyebrow analysis it just adds that weathered look to freya allen siri that i think goes a thousand percent more better in terms of design. She means business. She's not exactly the soft, graceful princess who was running uh, in the woods, holding her dress up, you know, left to right kind of thing. She's getting trained literally by Geralt. I mean, I couldn't guarantee that in this very photo. It would be awesome if this is just Kaer Morin just kind of all snowed over a little bit. I, I can't confirm nor deny that. But the fact is that we do know from the synopsis that Geralt of Rivia brings Princess Cirilla to the safest place he knows his childhood home of Kaemoran and then it's all about he must protect the girl from something far more dangerous the mysterious power she possesses inside so you can already see where this may be going I reckon some kind of event or some kind of power um kind of leak if you will from Siri may happen around Kaemoran for one reason or another I this is just what I'm envisioning and it's gonna give not just Geralt a look at that, but potentially the other witches like Vesemir. And they might just have a little sit down and, and kind of think, we need to do something about this. The girl clearly hasn't tamed this power. They might come to the conclusion that she never will, but like they, they this might be the emergence of Geralt's training for her to try and contain that Elder Blood power, if you know what I mean. And I think that could be a really good way to start that season off. But just one last note, I would like to think that this is Kaer just because she it seems that she does have a training sword there it looks wooden if i'm not mistaken she's got i believe she's got her hands wrapped up a little bit i i don't know i could be wrong but it would be awesome and lastly guys we got teasers of yennefer of vengerberg after the events of the battle of sodden now uh, this this is very interesting because it was kind of left ambiguous what happened to her just because after she let out that massive burst or flames of chaos you know in terms of chaos that would make you go poof i mean we even saw examples of that at the battle of other mages spending all of their uh, depleting all of their chaos and and obviously as you know in the world of the witcher it's like that fuel if you don't have anything to, to take that fuel from then it'll take it from your own freaking life source and you'll go poof but yeah it's not like she did go poof even though they kind of made it look that way we had to say her looking and shouting for Yennefer we even had that moment where Geralt was shouting for Yennefer even though at that point he was technically in that little dreamy uh kind of delusional kind of state but either way my guess is the fact that we see her in these chains here and you can see like these figures in the background I, it could be Nilfgaardian soldiers have captured her. It might be one of those things for plot convenience where it's just like, even though she should have just like collapsed on that rocky mound right next to Tessaia, just down the, the hill a little bit, like so she should have technically found her. For plot convenience, they might just have the story resume and she's already been captured and bound by Nilfgaardian soldiers or something. And you might think, but how? She was right there. So like, how did she? I don't know. It's just probably one of those things where that does happen in TV shows, if you know what I mean. I, I hope it doesn't. I hope there's a better explanation to that. And hey, I could be completely wrong. But why else 
would she be in chains if she wasn't captured by someone? And the only people I can think of is, you know, Fringilla and the Nilfgaardian soldiers. I would love to know your thoughts about that. But also, I'm just even intrigued as to how Yennefer... I know, like, trust me, I know Yennefer's a powerful mage. Don't get me wrong, sorceress. Um, but how did she tap into that much chaos? Surely that would have been to the detriment of the magical wielder, the, the, the spell that she cast, like, depleting that much chaos, that she would have had to have tapped into something, some kind of other battery beyond herself. I, I, I don't know. I would love to know your thoughts on that. Or do you really think that she really did have that much chaos that she's still alive after this, but very, very much so depleted, but not depleted enough that it... I don't know, makes you go poof, as I said, like some other mages have, as we've seen in the show, or even at that very battle. But just another thing out of that synopsis, convinced that Yennefer's life was lost at the Battle of Sodden, I, I can't wait to see Geralt's reaction when he realizes that she didn't actually die, and that she actually was captured by someone. Now, as a tease towards the beginning of this video, we do have some Witcher news, because if you didn't know already, in Season 2, on top of Vesemir and, and, and other, other characters, well, quite a few other characters coming to the show we were having a long time friend and even witcher colleague of Geralt's um Eskel arrived to the show played by the actor Thu Ersted Rasmussen I'm sorry I most definitely butchered that name but either way due to the pandemic there were many kind of rescheduling conflicts uh, for stuff that he was working on so he had to drop out but they have since recast the role of Eskel and the actor Basil Eidenbenz I personally I haven't seen either actors really in much so I can't really judge. I, I, I'm really looking forward to Eskel, but yeah, you get my point. I don't really know what to say in terms of the fact that we have one guy or now the other guy. But of course, don't forget that we are seeing others such as Vesemir played by Kim Bodnia. Now that's a very interesting choice because I just saw Killing Eve recently and I believe that is what he's most known for recently. And yeah, Kim Bodnia playing Vesemir. I, I can see it. I mean, I definitely didn't know what to make before, but now I've seen him in something for multiple seasons. I can definitely kind of get the vibes that he'll give off and I have quite a bit of faith in him. So fellow witches, I would love to know if you enjoyed this video by just leaving a like on it but most importantly I want to read your comments about these photos. What do you think is happening in some of them? Do you think that is a little teaser of Kaer Morhen or do you think that the Nilf Guardians did capture uh, Yennefer and a bunch of other things that we spoke about in today's video. Other than that be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with more witcher updates just like this on anything major or small. You can join my discord server in the top pink comment the link will be there along with other things such as my Patreon and my Twitter and Instagram. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you fellow witches in the next video. Goodbye.